I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Which is that the technology we're developing has the potential to help life flourish like never before. Not just for centuries, but for billions of years. With artificial intelligence. With artificial intelligence. The term singularity describes the moment when a civilization changes so much that its technologies are incomprehensible to previous generations. Think of it as a point of no return in history, and the singularity is also a hypothetical future point in time at which technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. Most thinkers believe the singularity will be jump-started by extremely rapid technological and scientific changes. These changes will be so fast and so profound that every aspect of our society will be transformed. The technological singularity is the idea that technological progress, particularly in artificial intelligence, will reach a tipping point to where machines are exponentially smarter than humans. The merger of man and machine, sometimes referred to as transhumanism, is the same concept that Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk talks about when discussing development of a neural lace. For Musk, however, an interface between the human brain and computers is vital to keep our species from becoming obsolete when the singularity occurs. A good way to understand the singularity is to imagine explaining the internet to somebody living in the year 1200. Your frames of reference would be so different that it would be almost impossible to convey how the internet works, let alone what it means to our society. Talking about the singularity is a paradox because it is an attempt to imagine something that by definition is unimaginable to people in the present day. Ray Kurzweil posts that we will soon be facing a similar question through the merger of human and machine intelligence. One response is not to want to be enhanced, he says, not to have nanobots. A lot of people say they just want to stay a biological person. But what will the singularity look like to people who want to remain biological? The answer is that they really won't notice it, except for the fact that machine intelligence will appear to biological humanity to be their transcendent servants. There is a lot that, in fact, biological humanity won't actually notice. Ray Kurzweil, an inventor and entrepreneur, has been pushing the technological envelope for years in his field of pattern recognition. In Kurzweil's radical vision of the future, the operant word here is exponential. For example, Kurzweil explains regarding nanobots implanted in the brain and he says, one application for sending billions of nanobots into the brain is full immersion virtual reality. implantable chips that would help people with disease and dysfunction. Kurzweil explains further on full immersion virtual reality, stating, if you want to be in real reality, the nanobots sit there and do nothing. But if you want to go into virtual reality, the nanobots shut down the signals coming from your real human senses and replace them with the signals we would be receiving if we were in the virtual environment. And then our brains feel as if we're in the virtual environment. Robots so small, so miniature, they're barely visible to the eye and able to go places almost beyond our imagination. You can go into virtual reality yourself or, more interestingly, you can go there with other people and you can have everything from sensual encounters to business negotiations in full immersion virtual reality environments that incorporate 
all of the senses. So, when will the singularity occur? Kurzweil predicts we will reach it sometime before 2045. Meanwhile, SoftBank CEO Masayoshi San, a quite famous futurist himself, is convinced the singularity will happen this century, possibly as soon as 2047. Not everyone is looking forward to the singularity. Some experts are concerned that the superintelligent machines could enslave or end humanity as we know it. These warnings come from the likes of physicist Stephen Hawking and Tesla CEO and founder Elon Musk, who has famously taken flack for his doomsday attitude towards AI and the singularity. Louis Rosenberg, CEO of Unanimous AI, states that artificial intelligence will become self-aware and will exceed human abilities, a milestone that many people refer to as the singularity. Rosenberg states that the prospect of a sentient artificial intelligence being created on Earth is no less dangerous than an alien intelligence showing up on Earth. After all, it will have its own values, its own morals, its own sensibilities, and, most of all, its own interests. Its own interests. Its own interests.